But the second challenge, the challenge of stress, which is an offshoot of modern science and technology and the lifestyle, has gone and abated. The student unrest is increasing more and more. The drug culture, the alcoholism, the gun and the terrorism, all under the ascent. And the whole social fabric has been almost shattered. The social unrest and the economic collapse, what has happened in the United States, you could see. And the shattered MNCs and the family divorces, single parent problems, old age homes, all are in the increase more and more, more and more. And what to talk about the health hazards, the modern NCDs they are called, non-communicable diseases, asthma, diabetes, hypertension, heart problem, epilepsy, migraine, irritable bowel syndrome, cancer, depression, neurosis, psychosis, host of this modern health hazards and no solutions. No. With all the achievements that modern science and technology has done, no. we have built skyscrapers, information technology, the web, fantastic diagnostic tools, very powerful pharmacological intervention, and surgeries after surgeries, 5,000 types of surgeries, which can almost change each and every part of our body. And now we are rushing ahead and racing ahead to change even the gene structure to change the complete personality. All that we have been able to do in modern science and technology. And we have created specialists and super specialists in the whole encounter. But why we don't have the solution? Why? I consider that there be knowledge base. The modern science has limited itself to the physical universe around us. If you refresh your memory, science started in the West, four centuries back with Newton and Descartes. The objective of science was to find out the reality. Is there a reality from where this whole creation has come? As they started doing their research, they soon found that we cannot understand all these things of the creation. We cannot understand how the water falls down, how the rain occurs, how the thunderbolt occurs, even such things you don't understand. What to talk about gods, goddesses, mystic medicine and others. So let us concentrate on things which are the simplest, gross, physical things of the world. Once we complete this, then we go to the higher dimensions. That's how it started. All the best of the brilliant minds all over the world came and started doing scientific research. We started understanding breakthroughs after breakthroughs. Today we are in a fortunate position that every object is made out of molecules, atoms, protons, neutrons, electrons, fundamental particles, all made out of energy packets called quarks. We can precisely calculate how much of energy is in given matter. And we also understood the laws that govern them. Newton's laws of motion called deterministic approach or classical mechanics. But when you go to extremely high speed, like an electron swimming around the nucleus, then you have to go to the higher laws. Theory of relativity, quantum mechanics, probabilistic mechanics, all that we understood. So therefore, today we understand everything about the physical universe. We know what it be made of, what are the laws that govern them. Therefore, anything physical, we have a big success. Putting man on the moon, building skyscrapers, pollution, and sophisticated surgeries, everything. Having done that, what next? The wonderful book, Turning Point. I think every one of you should read this book, written by Fritz of Capra. I remember when it was published in 1983, it sold like hot cake, millions and millions of copies. I remember in those days, it was all Fritz of Capra, Fritz of Capra. What did he write in this 250-page book? In a very fascinating story-like book, he traced the entire history of modern science, how breakthroughs came up, how it changed our lifestyle, and how it brought the matter-based paradigm. Having done that, then he tells, yes, now a time has come, we have to go beyond the physical to understand, is there something like prana? Mana buddhi chittankhar, pran, yek sab kya hai? Iska muladhar mein kuch aisa chaitan shakti hai kya? Iske bara mein vignan ko aage jana hai. Iska bara mein usne nika hai. And he says, therefore, science is in an embryonic stage in this understanding. And if it took 400 years to understand the physical universe, how long will it take us to understand the complete creation, the subtle worlds? No, we don't know. That's why modern science and technology doesn't have the solution to the challenges of the modern era. No. Stress, for example, is not purely physical. No doubt a physical trauma can cause stress. But mental restlessness, emotional absurdness, deep-rooted psychological conflicts, all are at the base of stress. And therefore, stress is a very complicated, multi-dimensional phenomena. And our solution is one-dimensional. 
So how can you solve a multi-dimensional challenge with a one-dimensional solution? That's where we have big failure. You know? Well, if modern science and technology developed in the West has failed to tackle the problem of stress, what is the way out? It's here that India comes into picture. We have in our country the complete knowledge base contained in yoga, spirituality. And where is that? In the Vedas. Vedas has two parts, Pura Mimamsa and Uttar Mimamsa. Pura Mimamsa deals with all our karmas, Upasana Kanda, Karma Kanda and Upasana Kanda. There is ritual, Shagnas, Havans, Homas, Puja, and other things. This I call it the technology of our Vedas. Why? Because here you can't ask questions. You just have to follow what has been told. You know, when you go to a temple, when the Pujari says, do this thing, you have to follow. When you go to the marriage, you have to just follow what has been told. This is what you do in an industry. When you go to an industry, you are trained to do a particular thing, you must go on doing it. Suppose you are trained to turn a particular valve of an automobile industry. When you go there, after six months of training, what you have to do, go on producing such walls, maybe 20 every day. And if you start asking questions, hey, why I should do like this, why not like this, why not like this? They will say, don't ask questions here. You just have to follow this. Follow the quality control and statistical process control and others. You know? But the second dimension in Uttar Mimamsa, that the science of the Vedas, contained in the Upanishads. How many Upanishads? Thousands are there. We have about 800 Upanishads in the print. This one the basis of Indian base. But 10 Upanishads are the most important. Isha, Kena, Katha, Mundaka, Mandukya, Aitriya, Taitriya, Prashna, Chandogya, Brahadaranika. Brahadaranika is the biggest, Mandukya is the smallest. You know, those smallest, Mandukya is considered to be the most profound. Ekam Mandukya Mev Alam, it is said. You know? And what is the content of the Upanishad? I want to share with you this interesting story of a king having four wives. You know? He loved the fourth wife, the maximum. He spent all his time and energy to take care of her. Gave her nothing but the rich robes, treated her to delicacies. He took great care of her and gave her nothing but the best. What about the third wife? She was the most beautiful, most attractive, most enchanting, a great PR woman. And the king was very proud of her. Whoever comes from other place, the king will send her and she will fascinate them, bring it to the base of the king. But in the heart of hearts, the king was a little afraid. What if she meets a big emperor, much, much bigger than me? Probably she may run away with him. That was the fear. Second wife is a very practical woman and she is a great confident. Whenever the king could not solve a problem and the ministers could not solve the problem, he turned to his, his second wife, there she goes solving the problem. What about the first wife? She is a very loyal partner to the king. She made the contributions in maintaining his palace, his wealth in such immaculate beauty, aesthetics and wonder. Anybody who came there had the best of the hospitality and they could feel the serene atmosphere. And people used to be very, very happy. But nobody knew who is doing all that. She is always behind the scene. Unfortunate thing was king also did not bother about her. She never asked whether you are taking food. That was the condition. A day came as it comes to all of us. King was become old, he fell very ill. Before long he knew he was going to die soon. Left one or two hours, then he thought, what is going to happen to me when I die? I am going to a place, there will be nobody to take care of me. I will become all alone. Life will be so boring. What to do, what to do, what to do? Suddenly he started scratching head, his head. Sometimes he get ideas when you scratch the head. No? So he gets a brilliant idea. What is the idea? Let me see whether any of my wives can come with me. You know? Naturally, he called his fourth wife and said, Oh dear, I am going there. Please come with me. What will she say? You fellow, you are dying. You want me to die. Get lost. She walks away. A big hit to the king. 